Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Web Dev. So here we are. We have designed the basic project, right? Before going into the animations and all those things. So first, let's have a clear understand about the animations. How we can do these transitions and all those things without using the Angular animations package. So we should have a knowledge on this one. So if you are having a CSS knowledge and everything, so in using without using the JavaScript or the Angular or anything. we can implement the animations using a simple css i will try to show you so the animations or the transitions we can done in the css using the property called as a transition if you try to see here the transition property so for example let's say that you are having something like i will remove this all the code and here also i will remove the css let's say that i am having a div which is uh, uh, like this a box okay and i will go to the css here i will apply for this div A width of width of hundred pixel, and a height of hundred pixel, and the last one is the background color of blue or red. Anything, anything red. I have applied it. Now, if you try to see the output for this one, here you will be able to see a red color box, and I will apply some margin to this one so that it will come to the center, forty pixel. Yeah. Now, if you see here, so we are now able to see the. a box which is having a width of 100 pixel and a height of 100 pixel now if i want to change the color of this div so how can i change the color of this div it's simple you can say leela so you can press in that uh, box so when you click on that box write in uh, apply a class or apply an ng style to change that color to the red blue or anything okay let's try to implement this one so here let's go to the app.html and if i click on this one on click is equal to on color change okay on color change i will try to apply this one on color change or anything so here is this one also yeah so now if i try to if i go here and if i add this one on color change let's say that we have a variable div click which is of type false so first time it is not clicked So now on color change, what I will try to do is do click is equal to true. I make it as a true. Mm, let's make it simple. Now here when we change when we click on this one, we will change the uh, variable do click to the false to true. Now I will apply an ng style. Okay, for this one. Now here I will use the background color. Background. color right background color you can also use the hyphen of methodology also but we need to use it in a single quotes and here if div click is there if div click is there then it should be blue or otherwise it should be red so this is the thing which i have written so i am using an ng style background color i want to change it so if the div click is false means then it should be red color if the div click is true means then it should be blue color the first time it is in the what i can say it is in uh, the do click will be false then it will be in red color only as usual so we are able to see it when i click on this one immediately it has turned to blue so this is happening Sorry, instantly i don't know that one this is happening instantly if you try to observe this is happening instantly but i don't want this color changing to happen instantly i want to have some transition effect slowly the red color has to turn into a blue color so that is the transition i wanted so we can achieve this one using the css transitions this is what i want to explain you using the css transitions we can change the color for this we can we can transition the thing over a period of time so for example let's say that here what is the thing i want to change it the background color i want to change the background color of this transition now here if you try to see here in the css so we want to change the transition color from red uh, when it is transit uh, when it is changing it needs to be done progressively it needs to happen for that reason what we need to do is we need to use the property we have in css that is nothing but transition property and the first one is the parameter we need to say the first argument what is that style property you want to do so here the style property i want to give is the background color okay so i am applying a background color oh sorry background color and the second one when it is transforming so when the color is changing from blue to red 
within how many seconds it needs to change okay within one second within one second means this much time it needs to take to change the color and this one is the type of ease effect so how you want to get the ease effect ease out we will explain you about this one all in our in our css uh, course if you want to check you can check it that one so here ease out so we will be using this ease out so this is the transition thing now if you try to see the output if i click on this one slowly it has been turned into a blue color that is within one second it has been turned for example if i give this one as something around five seconds okay if i give five seconds now if you see the output for this one slowly it will do so it will take so much of time five seconds of time it will take to convert it into a blue color so this is the transition effect here if you want you can also give something like thousand milliseconds also you can give that's not a problem so this is all comes under the units of the dimension matter which whatever dimension you want to give it you can give it and we have a fourth argument another one is the delay so if you give one second here two seconds time means when you click on that due it will take two seconds time it will wait for the two seconds then afterwards the transition will happen now if you try to see here i have clicked it nothing is happening after two seconds it will try to convert so this is one thing another thing transition thing now for example we have made the transition only one but if i want to make another transition for example let's say that i am i am adding a class for this one ng class is equal to i want to apply an active when the div click is there okay so now here i am applying a another class div click so when the div is clicked i want to change the width so that means dot uh, what i can say active i want to change the width to 300 pixel let's change the width to 300 pixel okay now i have changed the width to 300 pixel now if you see the output for this one if i click here on this one automatically the width is uh, increasing and after some time the color is changing but i don't but i don't want this behavior the width also has to gradually increase over a period of time i don't want to apply this width increase instantly so instantly that uh, due box the width is increasing and the color is applying transitionally after some time but i don't want this one why because we have given two seconds delay right that is the reason uh, let's make it as a one second now for this one what we can do is we can also add, add in another one that is nothing but width so i want to give the width it needs to be completed in 500 milliseconds and it should be eased out and one one millisecond it needs it needs to have a gap or gana so or otherwise we'll remove this one so now if you see the output for this one let's see the output and here if you see the output let's refresh this page if i click on this one see slowly the width is increasing and afterwards it is applying so for example let's say that you are having this one one second okay and here you will be having something like uh, uh, it's okay let's keep it like this and here we will be having if i try to show you within one second this will increase after some after this after the one second the color will change so this this is like we can apply the transitions okay this is how we can apply the transitions for example let's say that if you want to wait only for the 0.5 seconds and within this one if you want to complete the 0.5 seconds means automatically both the things will be completed at a time here if you see both the things will be completed at a time if i click here see it will change like this we will be using okay so this is how we will be trying to make it now two transitions we have applied right we have also an another type of thing that is nothing but what i want to tell you is the here we'll be having another type that is nothing but if you are applying multiple multiple means we can also use the all all means all it will be applied and you can have one second easy out. now if you see the output for this one how it will apply let's try to see and if i click here both the things will be applied parallelly so this is about the transition css transition basics thing what i will do is i will commit this code in this one video iphone 20 create new branch video iphone 20 whoever may be having doubts regarding this transition and all the things they can check this code so css transition and I will come, I am completing this code and I will publish this branch. So uh, the, the GitHub repository URL will be provided in the description below. So you can take a look at this one. This is our GitHub repository URL. Whoever may be having a doubts and particular video, they can go to that particular video branch and they can check that code. Hope you understood about the CSS transition concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel.
Thank you.